First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good. Lewis, I think I posted a chart, didn't I? I thought I did. Oh, dear. Hold on just a second. Maybe I didn't. Oh, uh, hold on just a second. Folks, uh, the old cowboy has uh, taken the old time clock. Be patient, my friends. I'm coming. I'm trying to get a chart up here. So, uh-oh, where's my chart thing? It doesn't give me a chance to do the chart. Wow. Hold on here. I'm trying to find the, uh, well, well, that's what happens when you're not sleeping at night. Hold on. Where is the, it doesn't give me a, it doesn't give me, oh, shucks. It doesn't, oh, man, now I've lost. Oh, boy. Hold on. Escape here. It doesn't give me a, uh, um, where I usually do my uh, put the chart in it. Uh, oh man, boys and girls, <laughs> I've been with you guys for a long time. This old cowboy is flat out <laughs> exhausted. Let me tell you, uh, the, the action last night. I had to stay with it because uh, we had some uh, had a position on. Oh man, this is I. I just don't. Uh, I can't. Al, what I can't do is it doesn't give me a place. To add um, to open my chart like I usually get. I don't know what's wrong. I can't. Uh, I can't figure it out. I don't. Uh, I don't. It doesn't give me that option. So I'm not going to worry about it. There's not a darn thing I can do because I. Maybe I'll figure it out at the break. Let's talk about markets, folks. Okay. Eventually, I. Eventually, I will get some charts out to you. Why it's not working for me today, I do not know, but. Uh, We'll uh, see what's happening with this stuff afterwards, but uh, that's not working either. So shut the front door and raise the rent. Let's uh, try to get this going. Okay, what's happened last night, folks, is the market exploded to the upside. I mean, you can see here that we just went wacko to the upside, and uh, we went all the way up to uh, 37.72. 37 37.75, I believe, was a high in the S&P. From there, we broke uh, 80 handles. We went all the way down to 36.95, then we rallied up to the 382. The reason why that 37.75 was so important, two reasons. First of all, it was an exact, exacto mundo to the 382 of the high in September on the eclipse. Okay? Now, remember, we got eclipse coming up here next week here on the 21st, I believe. It's this week. Shut the front door. It's Friday. So we got to be very, very cautious about that. What it means, I don't know. The fact that it hit that number and backed off is all that it means, okay? Now, what I wanted to talk about today was not the stock market. Well, I want to talk about that a little bit because this is the first ABCD correction we've had, folks. Are you ready for this? Since June. We have not had a good ABCD since June. In the market. Of course, that was a high, too. So that's why it's uh, so very, very important. Now, secondary thing is the Treasury bond market. I don't know if you know this or not. But if you take a look at it, it is collapsing. Now, if you think we had a rally like this in stocks, wait till you see the rally that we're going to get in bonds. When it is, I don't know. But boy, oh boy, it will be ready. This market is extremely, I mean, double, triple, quadruple uh, oversold and that will have a huge rally and that's all it'll be it'll be an oversold rally now today the chart that I wanted to show you on the S on the Dow, I used the Dow Jones because it was the clearest all of them did the same thing 
Also, by the way, uh, skipping around a little bit. Also, by the way, the Nasdaq did uh, a three eight two today too in ABCD fashion. So um, there's a long way for it to be out of the market, but this might be the start of a big bull market. I don't believe that it is, but anytime we close above thirty eight fifty, I have to say, yep, all this stuff I have is uh, not working. And we're not going down. We're going to go up. But right now, it still looks like we have a possibility of, you know, moving to the downside. Uh, I wish I had some charts to show you, but there is no way I click. I click. Nothing happens. And I don't know. Let me see if I take that off. It didn't help. That off. It doesn't help. This doesn't help at all. It's disappeared where it says to. Uh, I'll try it one more time just to see if it works. Hold on just a second. Okay, get that up there like that. Boy, there's no way, Jose, can I get a chart up. It does not give me the option. I do not wear. Click Tiger TV. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Shut the front. It's still no charts. Oh, now it says share the screen. God, I sound terrible. Okay. All right. I think I got a chart. There's the first one. Okay. Hey, we're going to be in business. Here's what happened last night. Okay. The, the market closed. Okay. Then it came down right in here, made a 382 retracement. Thank you very much for the help, folks. I didn't know that. And the, then you went, went up, made a beautiful ABCD. Okay. And then we went a little bit higher high. This, was a, this also was a 382 of that one. Perfect. Then we went up here. Once we went below this first 382, that changed the name of the game. And then it started to go down a little bit. All right. Now, let us let me get a couple of charts up here to show you what I've been talking about on these things. I want, this, this is the one where the real money is, folks. This is, you talk about real money. When they, when they get these boys by the, by the short hairs, there's going to be something really uh, crazy to have happen. So hold on just a second here. Why does it not? See, it doesn't give me the... Oh, it's a different thing. They changed it. Ah, it says share, share your screen. Uh, okay, all right. I see. They changed it a little bit. That's why they just didn't tell me. That's what I think, anyway. All right. This is a weekly treasury bonds. Okay, folks. The one thing that we've done here at TFNN since uh, since God was a little boy, and we made that first three eight two retracement up in here, we we became bearish bonds. Here is where they fed us the tapioca about uh, a negative interest rates. 382, 382, 382. Folks, we are near what is either a say goodnight to the Treasury bonds altogether or we're going to get a rally. And believe me, we made new lows in the bonds today, folks. I saw, I saw a print of 121. And, uh, you know, the target on that, that I had for these bonds was 128. When they were at 142, people were laughing at me. And, hey, you know what? They still laugh at, laugh at me, and that's a good thing, too. So I hope that's why. First of all, I hope that our, our friend, Mr. Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, will be our guest. I'm going to be checking on that, and he'll help bail me out, brother. Keep the cards and letters coming. <laughs> Give me some sleep. I'll be right back. <laughs> Of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, uh, you know, as you most of you know here at uh, TFNN, that I've been watching for a potential really big move down into October between the 21st and 25th and also a possibility of one right about the election time. So from there, I think we'll get a very strong bottom. It doesn't look at, as the market took off on Sunday night, I posted the chart up here. This is why the market took off Sunday night, is because the things in London looked nice and clear. The British pound had rallied, and it rallied up and made a new high off of that last little run, and then has reversed. And so that tells us that, uh, you know, maybe what was happening there was not true. But our market still continued to go higher. Yesterday, after the market closed, we ran 650 points after the market closed into the overnight session. And that's why, why am I, I, I know why. Oh, dear. These folks who keep calling me for some reason, I don't know. They think I know something from the inside. And boys and girls, I do not know. And you know what? I don't care because you don't have to care to make money because you know why? You'll never know for sure whether it's right or not. But this chart tells you that we went up here and tested that by just two or three pips and then immediately reversed. That means something to me. Also, the fact that these markets uh, were at a very, very critical level. You know, we were sitting exactly at the 618 Sunday night. And I said in the video, I said, boy, I said, the only way this is bearish, I said, is if it goes below here. And if it doesn't go below here, it's going to go higher. I forgot to say two words, buy now. <laughs> and uh, I, I, uh, didn't, I didn't add those into the uh, thing, but uh, that was a thing, a t thing to do Sunday night. But that's retrospect. But you got to go back and look and see how some of these things are operating. I'll show you this chart because this is why. You know, it was so incredible. This is a four-hour chart, and you'll be able to see what I was talking about here. It's everything that I talk about. I mean, it's just not a, uh, you know, it's not something I talk about every day. But look at this thing. I mean, it was setting, setting exactly at the 61% retracement of the low right back here. This is a four-hour chart, remember. This didn't take but uh, two days to form. I mean, we had that straight-up explosive move, remember? We were up 900 points in the Dow Jones, okay? And all we did, folks, believe it or not, is we did A, B, 
C, and D up to the 382 of the of the of the September high. So that's why this market is uh, sold off a bit. Now, if it reverses and continues to go higher like it's been doing, we are going to look at uh, you know potential that by golly, this is a bigger thing than I thought. And this pattern is not working this time, but until that happens, we have to uh, wait and see what's going to happen. So it's very important today's close. If by any chance, and it's a really long shot, hold on just one second. It's a real long shot, okay? And that's the main thing to look at. By the way, on a personal note, I have to tell you something here, folks. We live here at Davis Month on Air Force Base, and I like, uh, I like classic cars. And I have a gentleman that does work on him. He works out at the Air Force Base. And I had a problem with one of the cars, and it was going to cost about, uh, I don't have a lot, I have three. Anyway, um, but, um, and they're not that expensive. But one of them needed a little bit of work. And so the work was going to cost me about $2,500. So I said, okay, go ahead and get it done. So he's in the motor pool at Davis Month on Air Force Base. And because he's on the base there, he can bring the car in and work on on the base in his off hours. And he has buddies. And so they did some stuff and comes back to me later. And he said, hey, this doesn't need anything. All you had is a $200 valve that had to be replaced. And I couldn't believe it. I was ready to pay $2,500. And he comes back, you know, 24 hours later and tells me that it's only been going, to, going to go to be 200 and, of course, being the generous person I am, I gave him $225. Well, I gave him a little bit more than that. But anyway, when you see young men like that that are so honest, boy, it really uh, really makes you feel uh, really, really good. And I told him, I said, please, tell your parents that I think you're – that they did a fabulous job with you because you did a, a great job. And that, that that's great whenever you find someone young like that, you know, that can be really good. Okay, I'll have more sleep tomorrow, so I, I will be okay. I wanted to show you this the day before on this run-up. This is where it started here Sunday night. This is, to me, I, I was able to, do you know, do some of the stuff here on Sunday night. I was sending them out as they were going. But as you look at this here, remember, this is only Tuesday, folks. We've only been, in two days, we've gone, uh, we've gone 1,300 points in the Dow. Look where we were here. On Sunday night, there's where we made a slightly lower low, right there at the 618. Do not pause charts. I don't know what that means, Al, but I'll do my best. Okay, pal? Anyway, the market goes up, makes a 382 retracement here, makes a 382 retracement here, have this huge move, a sell-off, makes a 382 retracement here, and then I already showed you what it did last night. I mean, it just keeps doing it. Okay, that's great. You do have the charts, and so I'll keep uh, moving on forward and see that we get it. The key today is today's close, folks. This uh, we it, we are in the we are in a cycle time that is not not been seen for a very long time. What I mean by this is we have a whole bunch of cycle dates coming in, and that's why it's so very important. Remember, the first one was on the 16th, then we had the big down move, then we have the 18th, and we got a question from Al in Houston. Yes, sir. What can I do for you, my friend? How you doing, Larry? I'm living the dream, Bubba. I'm on the green side of the grass, but I need a cot to take a, take a rest. Go ahead, pal. What's no. up, buddy? <laughs> that makes all of us. Oh, I get oh, it. Yeah. Well, um, you're seeing on the um, E-Mini that you may that you see a potential uh, upswing. And um, I've been hearing the same thing from another subscriber and one of your students' friends saying the same thing, but we weren't sure. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of seeing a basing on those um, markets, and I'm also kind of seeing something similar in the precious metals. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of wondering what, what are you seeing, if you're seeing something similar? Because well, what I've I, seen, they kind of go harmoniously similar um upward or yeah, downward well, right now their assets yeah there there can there could certainly be it but the thing is that these dates that i'm looking at out in october are so big that it would be unusual for that to them not to work but this could certainly happen all we need is a close above a 38 40 in the s p and there's just no way there's no way that anybody can be bearish there's just uh just no way why is someone calling me here on this number i don't know <laughs> I don't know, oh dear. 
<laughs> no comment because there's <laughs> we're we're all no, thinking the same. <laughs> no, no, no. Let me get this first. Uh, I, I, I have sure. some. I have some. You know, uh, neighbors here that I take care of. You know, they're in their 90s and stuff, and uh, that's not one of them, but it could be another neighbor. But uh, I'm going to have to get it later. But I don't like to be bothered. I should have turned the phone off, but I forgot to. So anyway, Al, you'll know. If we get above, let's say, 3850 in the S&P today or tomorrow, then there's no mm-hmm. way I can be buried. Does that make sense? Well, I was, I was talking about gold. I was asking. But later on after the, the now, break, that Gold's not fine. ready yet. Hang on. It's going lower. I still think it's going lower. And, Kay, call me if you have any trouble. You know, you got my number. Yes, sir. All right. Thanks, okay. Larry. Bye. See you later. Bye-bye. We'll be back with Jeff Hughes, Jaffa Insights, folks. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights on the line. How do you like this volatility, my friend? <laughs> well, it's characteristic of a bear market, isn't it? <laughs> well, it certainly looks that way to me, but the rest of the world doesn't see it this way. Uh, Jeff, your first chart here is the 100-year storm. You want to tell the folks uh, what you're looking at here? The 100-year uh, storm is the worst performance that the 60-40 benchmark strategy uh, portfolio has, has seen literally in the last century. Uh, we are down 30%. That's that's a 60% portfolio, 60% S&P 500, 40% Lehman Ag, or I guess Barclays Ag. Maybe it's the Bloomberg Ag. They keep changing their name, you know. I'm not necessarily a bond guy, but, but I will tell you this. Most pension funds, most institutions that do asset allocation have this as their primary benchmark, and they try and invest 
around it, right? You know, so they've got some exposure and they might have some alts, they might have some real estate, some private equity, some hedge funds, but for the most part, 60 to 80% of their portfolio is oriented toward this benchmark. That benchmark is down over 30% uh, year to date versus a 100 year average of 9%. Uh, So it is the absolute worst performance we've seen in the last century. Wow. That I think Nowhere to hide, Larry. Yeah, well, it's uh, certainly, uh, when I saw that, I said, oh, my goodness. I said, things look really interesting. Uh, I will have a question uh, later on bonds, but uh, I have a nice chart here about earnings. And I think with everybody watching earnings that are coming up today, they might get a big, uh, uh, get some information out of this one here. And you'll see, you want to tell us what you're looking at here with earnings growth? Absolutely. Um, We've been seeing estimates of earnings growth dissipate uh, pretty aggressively for the last two, three weeks. In fact, uh, the street consensus going into the year was looking for over 10 percent earnings growth in 2022. By the end of the third quarter, and that was just, you know, September 30th, the street was down to just around 8 percent earnings growth for the year. In the last two and a half weeks, that has dropped to 6 percent. And one of the big issues, I think, is that almost every sector has seen negative revisions uh, throughout the year. The one exception has been energy. And if you were to remove energy from the S&P 500, year-to-date S&P 500 earnings growth is negative 4%. So energy is doing all the heavy lifting. Um, You know, we've we've seen uh, negative revisions in industrials, real estate, consumer discretionary, but they're still positive on the year, which is keeping the S&P, that coupled with energy, is keeping the S&P up for the year. But my suspicion is we're going to see a negative earnings number this year that is going to surprise a lot of people. Okay, wow. Now, the next one is about the Fed and their uh, their rate hikes that are coming up. Um, I'll get this chart up here for you in just a second. And you want to tell us what you're looking at here for uh, – that's right before the election. So what are, you, what are you looking for here? Yeah, well, it looks like uh, the consensus view, and this is based on the probabilities, uh, you know, uh, d- d- basically determined by the Fed Fund's futures curve. And it looks like market participants are expecting about a 97.5% probability of a 75 basis point hike on uh, November 2nd. Um, honestly – that number was 100 percent last Thursday when the CPI report was uh, uh, printed. And that was a hot number. It actually uh, resulted in the, in the uh, Dow dropping 500 points on the open, uh, only to rally back dramatically uh, into the close up over 800. And, um, you know, my suspicion is that, you know, people are of the opinion that, well, if uh, we're this close, basically, the Fed has to start to pivot. They're going to pivot any time now. This will be the last hike. And, uh, you know, I got news for them. Pivoting isn't that great for the market. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll tell you, the volatility I saw last night, I hadn't seen that in a long time because the people were asleep and uh, they didn't realize that the Dow Jones was up 700 points, you know, in the overnight market. And I bet you there's not 5% of the people that even look at that thing. I don't think so. But, boy, it was uh, <laughs> light volume. But, boy, it was sure rocking and rolling. Oh, here we go. What to expect on Fed pivots. Let's get these up here because this will be really interesting because I don't know anything about this like most of these charts, but you certainly are good at telling us what we're seeing here. What to expect when the Fed pivots? Yeah, you know, so let's just assume that everybody's right and the Fed's close to pivoting. Well, the last few times that they've pivoted, uh, you know, on these major economic uh, reversals like this, August 7th, for example, uh, the great financial crisis, the stock market dropped for another 18 months following that point. It uh, didn't bottom until late February, actually March of 2009, uh, on an interday basis, and it was down 50 percent. Uh, the dot-com bubble, the Fed pivoted in December of 2000. The market kept declining for 21 months and ended up down another 38 percent before it bottomed in October of 2020, uh, 2002. Uh, if you look back to 1989 to October 1990 during the Gulf War, right, uh, the Fed pivoted in June of 89. Uh, the market was down another 4 percent over the subsequent 16 months. You had the 1981-1982 the period 
where, uh, you know, the, the uh, double dip recession after the Fed pivoted, we saw another 16.5% decline. In 73, uh, they pivoted in October. The market declined another 41% over the next 11 months. And in March of 1970, uh, the Fed pivoted, and we saw another 18.9% decline over the subsequent three months. So that's an average decline of 28% over an average period of 14 months after the Fed pivots on all of these major uh, recessionary conditions. Now, it's pretty widely regarded by uh, most experts that the Fed is purposely going to put the economy into hopefully a shallow recession. But my expectation is once that occurs and the Fed does pivot, that will be the kickoff for a significant further decline. Wow. Yeah, boy, that's... uh... We live in interesting times, my friend. I can certainly tell you that. It's really been amazing. We've got a bunch of other charts here that I think are, you're going to love here, so bear with me here. We'll get this next one up, which, uh, uh-oh, here comes something the bulls don't want to see, but I have to agree with it, and that is new <laughs> lows are on the way. Jose, let's get it up here. There we go. New lows yeah, are on we, the way. That's right. We, we wanted to kind of you know, update our thinking in terms of our Elliott wave count on a short-term basis. And, you know, this is really looking from the um, uh, August 16th high to present. And uh, the most recent low was last Thursday, October 13th. And since that low, we've seen a pretty um, well-articulated ABC retracement. Uh, That's a three-wave counter-trend move. We think the initial decline into the October 13th low was probably intermediate wave one of primary wave three down. And what we're probably experiencing today, at least so far, uh, is the top of intermediate wave two. We've actually got a little bit uh, uh, of leeway here. We think it could potentially carry to, uh, say, 3810. Uh, possibly even 3910 uh, before it completes. But, you know, it's right in the zone. We're, we're certainly within 100, 150 S&P handles of the top. And we would definitely, uh, you know, move a step aside from the market if you're trading this because we think the highest probability move is to the downside. And we think a break of those uh, October 13th lows We'll see a dramatic acceleration in selling pressure and yeah. new lows probably around S&P 2750 to 2400. Jeff, stay with us. Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights, folks. Good stuff. You don't get any place else. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with uh, Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, and he's going to be talking to us about uh, his preferred Elliott Wave count. Would you like to continue, Jeff? Absolutely. I wanted to give some big-picture perspective to that last chart, which you know really just uh, indicates the, the decline since the August 16th. This chart looks back uh, all the way to the 2009 low, and so we can see how you know that advance off the 2009 low into the January highs of this year counts five waves up. And that seems based on the work that we've done to terminate at four degrees of trend, intermediate, primary, cycle, and super cycle degree. And uh, if we've terminated super cycle wave three, as we believe we have, then we're probably just in the very early stages of super cycle wave four, which is a three wave correction to the downside. And what we've mapped out here uh, with what the market has actually traced out and some additional illustrations is how we believe the first uh, volley of that wave A to the downside will trade out. And we see it as an impulse wave, five waves down. And so mm -hmm. far, we've put in primary wave one and primary wave two. And as you can see, we're just at the precipice of a breakdown into this primary wave three where we should hit maximum momentum as soon as we take out Thursday's lows of last week. And that mm -hmm. could carry the market down to around at least 2750, possibly as low as 2400 before wave four, which again will be a, uh, a counter trend advance, probably a shallow lateral move, uh, and then a final fifth wave plunge down into the lows, which we expect to be around S&P 2250. And that will terminate wave A of an ABC. So in other words, once A wave A is down, a, a complete, we should see a counter trend advance to retrace around, say, a third to two thirds of that. Call it a 50 percent retracement, just to kind of be uh, honest. And uh, then we'll see another leg to the downside, which could carry the market as low as, say, 1400, uh, based on kind of a very simplistic sort of analysis here. So that is our big picture view of where the market is headed looking out uh, over the next couple of years. OK, we have a question from one of our listeners. And how long do you expect this bear market to last? It started in January. It would be unusual for it just to stop after uh, 10 months, wouldn't it? I mean, you'd think that. Uh, I agree. Yeah. How I long agree. Do you think I think. Could, uh, yeah. So so there's two two ways to think about it. Number one, we have to correct a 13 year advance. That's going to be about, say, 25 to 35 percent in time. So I think it's going to be, you know, up to a three year process just to correct that mm -hmm. period of time. Um, if we're really truly in a super cycle correction, it could take a decade to fully correct it. It might be a lateral move. In other words, the first ABC down wow. could be part of a complex pattern that takes years to evolve. And so we should be prepared for you know, a period that's something like the 70s, where we just go back and forth for a decade. Wow. Well, uh, in markets, not all markets, all stock markets go down because it's a market of stocks, not a stock market. In that, you're looking at a stock called Globe Life. Is that an insurance company? 
It is. Uh, it used to be the uh, the old Torchmark Insurance, if you remember that company. And, uh, you know, they've uh, rolled up a bunch of other insurance companies and created a bigger company that they renamed Globe Life. Uh, this is a stock that's made a new all-time record high last week and uh, broke out above the top end of a long-term range that dates back a couple, almost three years now. And uh, to me, we, we want to try and find stocks that are bucking the broader trend. The vast majority of stocks are trading below their 200-day moving average. Very few stocks are making new highs. Globe Life is among them. And for reasons that are you know above my pay grade and probably most people's, um, the stock is acting very, very well. And what we want to do is we want to identify stocks that have potential. And using technical analysis, in this case, we've identified um, something of a cup and handle base formation that projects up to about $163. We want to try and buy stocks like this as they break out and hold them into those moves and then sell them when they hit our target and try and lock down prices in this market. Wow, that's good. Folks, I want you to pay attention to this next slide because we have to talk about this. I see your, uh, I want to get this up. This is your performance. Because there's something in this chart here, the graph that you sent that we have to talk about. You want to tell the folks on your portfolio, portfolio performance update because I have some comments on this that uh, everybody should listen to, even if you don't think well, I know anything. So anyway, <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. Let me just say this. You know, um, we launched this Idea Generator Lab portfolio uh, last November 15th. And so that was 336 days ago. In that time, we published one idea every week. And uh, the 36 ideas that we put up, about 30% of them or about a third of them or so uh, have been winners. And the average winner was up 18%. Um, the other 70% have been losers, but the average loser's only been down 5%. We've had wow. equal weight portfolio of, of basically 5% positions. And our net positive return here has been 17.18% during that period of time. Meanwhile, the S&P has been down 20%. So we've wow. basically added quite a bit of value, almost doubling uh, you know, that, that uh, performance of the S&P 500 on the, on the inverse side. Jeff, let me explain my view of this chart here that I talk about all the time and no one ever, well, some people listen. In the lower left-hand corner, folks, you see WL, that's win-loss ratio of 30%. He has a performance that is knocking the socks off of the S&P 500, and he's only right 30% of the time. Do you know what that means, folks? You have to take care of your profits, okay, or take care of your losses, and the profits will take care of themselves. It's not what you make. It's how much you don't lose. This is a, this is a real, really beautiful graph of what I try to talk about. You don't have to know what's going to happen next in order to win, and you, you, you can't because you don't know what's going to happen next. But if you take care of your losses, the profits will take care of themselves, and boy, that's a – Hats off to you, my friend. You, you you deserve the gold star on that one. That that to me is uh, probably the best chart I've seen in the years that I've had you on the show. I really mean that sincerely. That's a that's a game breaker for me because boy, that that that's really beautiful. Now let's take. We've got only a few minutes left here. We'll take a look here. You've got a free monthly newsletter that the folks can t take a look at, and then we'll yeah, get us. This yeah. is a public service announcement. We, we publish a uh, free <laughs> okay. monthly newsletter. It's affectionately entitled Huge Insights, The Big Picture. It comes out around the first Saturday of every month, unless there's a really important economic statistic coming out the following week, then sometimes it's the second Saturday. But, you know, be that as it may, what we try and do in this newsletter is really just, you know, map out the big picture from an economic perspective, uh, from a market perspective, and then we give you our forecast. And, uh, you know, I think it's a, it's a nice way for people to kind of follow our work in general. Now, um, we do offer, oh, by the way, you can subscribe for free. Just plug your uh, email uh, address in and just hit subscribe now uh, when you go to our website at jwhinvestment.com under free newsletter, and this will take you right to it. Or you can find it on Twitter. Uh, we're at alpha underscore insights. And then, you know, we get this response from a lot of people. You know, they send us emails and they say, hey, this is great, Jeff. We love your work, but, but how do I invest? How do I make money with this? Give me some ideas. And we've got this upgraded service uh, for members. And the membership gives you access to our top actionable idea every week. 
And a good example is that Globe Life. That was a recent uh, idea that we shared with investors, and I think uh, it's one that you can benefit from if you like to trade stock. Jeff, we'll have you on again soon, my friend. May God bless and stay on the green side of the grass and be safe. Same to you, Larry. Take care now. Okay. Bye-bye. The Mount Todd Gold Project. Mr. Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Mr. Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Mr. Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Mr. Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to go back to trading. Trade what you see, not what you think. And this is what I see. You see the low that we made right down here with this little arrows pointing there in early October. We rallied up into the October 4th. We came down. We stopped right here, 1.27 of this swing. We had a very strong rally last Tuesday, Wednesday. We gave it all back on Thursday and Friday. We stopped exactly at the 61% retracement, and we went up and we made an ABCD. You see this little line right here? That little line is where it went to, and we came back below it again. But we made the 3A2 of the September high, September 23rd, uh, 28th. So let's uh, remind ourselves that's where we are and that's where we shall be. By the way, our guest tomorrow will be Adrian Togare of Trading on Target. And Thursday, I believe we're going to have Tim Boss, depending upon he can float his uh, – his canoe in through his uh, office, but we get through. Anyway, folks, should we close above this line up in here? That's around 3810, uh, 3820. Then I put the white surrender flag out and say, well, 
this didn't work the way I wanted it. So I certainly saw this bottom in here. We talked about that on several videos in the newsletter that we had major support just sitting right there Sunday night. And I already showed you what it did Sunday night. We had a lower low by uh, two or three pips and then away it went uh, to the upside. The other thing is check your foreign currency charts, folks. I'll do that tomorrow. Uh, for you here because it doesn't show anything of any type of panic anywhere. Most of them are just doing doing what they're supposed to be doing. So, uh, Also, live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Thanks you for putting up for me today, folks. And I'll be back in business tomorrow for sure. So please do something nice for your neighbors because, golly, everybody needs help. And if you're there, give them a jingle. <laughs>